It's Wes, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm gonna share about the Polaroid One Step camera, a vintage instant film camera that I picked up. I'm gonna explain what I like about it, the buttons, yes, there's two of them, and I'm also gonna review three images that I took at a wedding. Let's go. You're a beautiful person and you're a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. Like I said, in this video, we're gonna talk all about the vintage one-step uh, Polaroid camera that I picked up. Here is what I like about the camera. I picked it up for $45 used, so I like the price point. Um, it's also lightweight, so, I mean, extremely white, lightweight. I think it might weigh less than my cell phone. Let's see. It, they're pretty close. Um, and so, the other thing I like is it's easy to use. There's really only two two buttons, which we're gonna talk about. And because it's easy to use, it also prevents me from overthinking a moment. So it's really important to stay in the moment and be present and not get worried too much about complex approaches to photography. When you're with your client, you just wanna be personable and connect with them and relate with them and feel the moment and then you'll do a better job capturing it. Another thing is that I like about it is it challenges me. I like that this camera challenges me because it's not the most sophisticated, so I have to rethink my approach. So that provides some challenge. It gets me into a different type of critical situation where I judge my photos differently. And either it's, it's a hit or a miss. The photo is not gonna be technically amazing, so it's either gonna work on an emotional level or it's not gonna work on an emotional level. And so I have to kind of shift gears and think in a different um, sort of critical analysis about what I'm composing. The emotional impact of the photo comes down to three things. Choice of the moment, choice of light, and choice of composition. Oops, that's four. Choice of the moment, choice of light, and choice of composition. And that's really where you're gonna get the emotional impact from your photo. It helps simplify uh, the approach. All right, so technically there's, there's very little you need to know, but these things are very important. Shoot in bright light. Like the most amazing, brightest sunlight you can get, that's gonna get you better performance out of this vintage one-step camera. Use a flash always. I didn't know, I thought, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought there was a built-in flash. It's actually the viewfinder. Um, but there's a spot up here for a flash bar and I didn't purchase one So I'm gonna look on eBay or, or find a way through Amazon to get a flash bar here um, But always use a flash and that goes to point number one is use the brightest light possible And the last thing is try to keep your hand very 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 steady It's really important to keep your hand steady um, because it lets in light based on shutter speed primarily and so that gets into the knobs. So one thing is this button is a little bit hard to depress. There's kind of a ridge around it to keep you from accidentally pressing it, but you kind of have to curl your finger around and then push back to depress the button. And so it, it's actually a little bit hard to depress. So it takes some muscle, but then you also have to make sure you have a firm grip on the corners. So when you're pressing the button, you're not moving the camera. That's something I really need to practice. Um, and so I'm looking forward to getting better at that. The only other button you need to know is right here. And um, it's, it's just basically turn to the white uh, area of the dial to get a, um, a brighter image and turn to the darker side of the dial to get a darker image. And really what's doing there, it's not adjusting aperture, it's not um, playing with your ISO, it's just changing the shutter speed. So that means if you want a brighter picture, you need to understand you're slowing your shutter down. It's gonna be open longer, and then camera shake and your hand movement will play into getting uh, more blurry pictures. So that goes again to the importance of keeping the camera very stable. And then um, my plan to use it is I want to take this on every shoot I have where I have a client and I want to just look for opportune moments to capture a special moment where the lighting is right and I can think of a creative composition and the emotional moment is important and it's unique. And then what I want to do is put those into a folio or a little uh, notebook and hand it to the client, either right there on that day or I can print a book through like Shutterfly or something with the images for my Canon EOS R and then take in a couple of instant photos and so then that kind of create a mixed media, kind of an interesting composition, an interesting product to hand to the client. So my goal is to incorporate it with my client photography using the Canon EOS R and yeah, I'm really, really excited about it. Here's my favorite image that I shot at Annie and Roman's wedding on the Polaroid uh, One Step. And 
was in the reception hall and there was a bright patch of sunlight, like excruciatingly bright. Like when I asked them to step in it, they were uncomfortable. I said, just hang on for a second. But that photo really captures their, um, just sort of their, their uh, I want to say youth, but their energy and enthusiasm about getting married. This is right before the ceremony. Um, but I learned how to take a better picture because earlier, before they had changed into their wedding clothes, about 11 in the morning, I had actually um, asked them to stand at the entrance to the reception hall, and you can see they're in the sun down here, and here they weren't. And the photo just totally was dominated by the part in the sunlight and the camera exposed for that. And so you actually can barely see their faces. You can't see their faces, still it's an awkward photo. Um, but I learned and I pulled off a much better photo right here. Um, here's a fun one. This was, the wedding was down at Liberty Station. And um, so I got uh, just a snapshot of the Liberty Station sign over one of the streets leading up to the reception hall. And I just love the blue in that photo. It's just, uh, just got a great look to it. And there was one other photo that I uh, thought was passable and that was in the same patch of sunlight. I had them face each other. And I'll say it is a little bit blurry. I think um, I could have done better on that. But what's nice is the string lights actually show up in the back of the reception hall. It's amazing. And you can see the windows in the background in the reception hall pop and kind of create that um, interesting depth. Um, but it's just their profiles. And, and I like that one too. There's others I took that they just, they didn't turn out that great. And I'm learning a lot. So hope to do better in the future. But those are the ones that I thought are worth sharing and I'm gonna give those back to the bride and the groom. Um, and so, yeah. Um, this is the first time I've shot film in a long time. Um, actually, I have a Fuji Instax and I'll probably be um, using that more and kind of comparing the two, the Polaroid. Um, I actually found this Canonet QL17 in my house and there's a roll of film in it. I developed it, I discovered it was blank, but I'm about to put in a black and white, a uh, roll of black and white film there. And so I'm getting a little bit into the, the film uh, realm. So I'll report out on that camera later. Anyways, thank you for joining me. I hope you got something out of this video. Um, be daring, be in the moment, um, try something new, try something that's not maybe technically, you know, the, the most amazing specs, but it's about capturing the moment, sharing, um, sharing emotions. And really for me, Photography is about exploring, creating, and serving. And so this is one way that I can do that. So I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you uh, for sticking around. Leave a comment. Let me know what you like if you have a favorite instant camera. And I appreciate you. Thank you for joining me. Bye.